says it on the screen behind me. This is 100% you. And I love that you put so much of yourself from the very beginning to the very end in this album. And that must have felt really nice when you released it, especially a couple of days Absolutely. later, number one on iTunes. Oh my gosh, that was an amazing feeling. Um, well, this project especially was really important to me because it was my first project that I was releasing independently of a record label. I'd been signed to my last label since 2012. So basically for the entire time um, that I've been creating music as a solo artist. So it was a little, I wouldn't say scary, but it was definitely a kind of uncharted territory to release a project without the support of that major label and oh my gosh i have cat hair all over my, <laughs> all over my shirt PJ. <laughs> um but uh yeah so that was just a little i would say it was just a little intimidating not necessarily scary but um i didn't know how it was gonna go and i've been over the moon like thrilled with how it's all panned out i mean just the response from my fans and from my peers and from the media to the project was was really amazing. But also, I think the biggest thing that I've gotten out of it is I just feel so much better. I feel free. I feel creatively free. I feel like I'm like in tune with what I need to be doing. Like just stuff makes a lot more sense. It doesn't feel like I'm forcing myself through my own career. It kind of just feels like I'm allowing it to happen and, and feeling really natural about the creative process. And that is so nice. Like it's so underrated how like to have freedom in your creative process um, can really affect your mental state or your well being as a creative. Like I don't even re think I realized while I was working on these albums or while I was signed to a major label, how much that affected how I thought of myself, how, how I thought of my music, how I would compare myself to other artists, like all of that stuff is just eliminated now off the table. It, and this is just amazing to hear this. And yeah, you were so, so nice. chill. Is this the house <laughs> that you're in now? Is this the house you recorded it in? Yes, yes. I recorded songs for you downstairs. Do you think you can ever go into a studio again now? Because it must have been so nice and relaxing being there. Just like, oh, there's another it one. Really Surprise is. on, another track. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say I wouldn't. Um, I definitely prefer just the comfort and the ease and how natural it feels to just like be in my own space. So I prefer to record here, but I'll, I mean, if someone has like a spot that they're super comfortable in too, I'll try it. I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. <laughs> I'll pop into someone else's <laughs> studio, but yeah. It's a very personal space when you're creating music though, or any type of art, which you're across all of it. It's got to yeah. feel nice when you have a man like Jay-Z who personally says, I love it to that album. What opportunities yes. does that create for you? Because now they are your management, Rock Nation? Rock Nation is my management. Yes, yeah. they've been amazing. Just to be a part of, of that energy that they have there at that company is, is incredible. Um, yeah, they're just always focused on like the next thing and hustling and, and planning for the future. And that is, I feel so aligned with what I like to do and who I am as an artist. Like I always am just thinking about what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next. So yeah, it's been amazing to be able to work with Rock Nation and um, yeah, to even have that, like literally Jay-Z told me that he loves songs for you. So that is always in my mind. And so did Rihanna. So both of them. <laughs> That's just, whenever you're having those days where you need to just get back on track, you think of those moments. Right, no, it's true yeah. because a lot of times you think about like, I think as an artist, it's it's hard not to always compare yourself to other people and think, oh, I wish more people had heard this, or I wish this project was, I don't know, more successful, whatever that means. Um, but for me, just to know that people that I really respect, really, mm -hmm. both not only just listen to it, but, but uh, enjoyed it, that means more to me than anything. That's crazy. That's such a great feeling. Well, we all know you're a great musician, but also your love for art. And it's really nice to see your incredible clips. That yeah. you have. I love watching your video clips. When you're recording a song, are you almost picturing sometimes how it can look visually? Um, I don't think I do it typically while I'm recording it, but it's more so after I get something that I think is good. It kind of all um, starts to visualize. And it's interesting because I have visualized both the live performance and the music video and kind of how they intertwine and how they um, 
makes sense in the overall kind of concept that I'm trying to portray. So it's really cool to have that extra element. I love the, the visual element of being able to be like, okay, how do we take this song and then take it up a notch? So yeah. I well, say, say for instance, die a little bit in that video clip. Really cool. Thank you were you. the director. So how do you work with that director then being a visual artist yourself? Um, it's a huge collaborative process. Um, for me, working with the director, her name was Sarah. It was really cool. Um, I love female directors. Um, because we were really able to connect, especially on trying to hit on the emotion of that video, because it's really kind of subtle, but it's important to the narrative. Mm. So having the director there, I felt like kind of, it just allows me to kind of nail down my vision. Like I always have a vision. I always have all these ideas, but it's somebody who can kind of just be like, okay, this is how we can execute it. This is how we can actually shoot it. This is what it would look like in the room. Or these are maybe the people that I can bring to the table that can help execute the vision, whether that be production design or, you know, whatever it is, choreography or things like that, coloring. <laughs> I, will, I won't ask you, because it's a cruel question, what your favorite is. So I'll tell you my favorite. My favorite save, room for, save room for us. Not song? only the song is great, but I can imagine when I'm walking out of isolation, I'll be doing yeah. those dance moves those guys are doing because the choreography was a lot of fun in that clip. Thank you. Yeah, I really love that video. That's one of my favorites that I've done for this project. We um, really honed in on all the angles and the choreography. And yeah, I'm really glad you like that. I love that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's good. Oh, also, <laughs> Stormy Weather that was a moment. That was like a real Thanks. powerful moment. Well, I like that crew. that one gave me a chance to showcase kind of a different side of, especially my dance ability, because I've been trained since I was like four years old, and I don't necessarily showcase technique as much. And Stormy Weather, even though it's not super technical, still shows another side of my five, six, seven, eight. So that's always nice to show yes. range. I love having range. I just love doing like all sorts of things. Like, oh, we can tell. Bit, bit of that. <laughs> we can all see that with all your work. <laughs>